Stonebreaker Enlightenment. <laughs> I never thought I'd buy this thing on my own account. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back in Garena Speed Drifters again. This time I'm gonna review another car with Infinity Chip. Last time we did Hunter. So I've seen most of your comments. Uh, some of you suggest me to do Crimson Raid, uh, Lion King Sane, Dreadnought, Ranger or in other words Flash, Wings of Time, Razor. Okay, all of them I think I can do. But some I might need to go to QQ Speed Mobile eh, because I don't have the car in any of the two accounts in speed with this but right now i'm going to review s dawnbreaker because there's a skin eh? so s dawnbreaker last time it was a tier 4 car and now it has a skin and this skin has a has an even better buff eh? you can see the states there's a bit change eh? in power and tank and thruster slightly increase eh? Actually no, I see power and, and tank only. Okay, but the skin features basic power, charge time and nitro power. So, uh, I'm gonna test this car first. Uh, again, eh, uh, look at the characteristic. It automatically increases and tank by 1.9% per second. And every time you use double boost, there's a 23% chance. 3 km per hour increase in maximum speed for 3.5 seconds. Uh, pretty sure it's full mode, okay. The modding full modded is left, 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 middle, okay? And this one is not no infinity chip yet, eh? uh, as usual. I'm gonna test without infinity chip first, and then we'll see how much changes is there with infinity chip, okay? So I'll test without first. This is like one of the first S-series car, eh? S-Stormbreaker, or maybe we can also say S-Batu. <laughs> Alright. This is with skin, eh? So normal speed is 200.5 Double boost 245.7 WCW is 291.3 CWW 308.1 WCWW 30... No, There's a nitro sound? 312.4 okay is it just me or the nitro sound is like star greaser 312.4 eh? the, the nitro sound is exactly like star greaser that's uh that's new i didn't know about that okay all right so actually yeah uh if the ability activated the maximum speed might have increased eh, but I didn't check that late just now but it's okay uh, right now let's every time there's a bug here let's put infinity chip in eh. so there's a lot of buffs as you can see top speed wait let me see eh. top speed charge time quick boost time nitro duration basic power max mini boost mini boost power nitro power and yeah, that's a lot of buffs how much is it 2100 okay put that in and uh, before that let me check the recommended modding is it the same left 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 middle okay the modding is correct so let's test it again with infinity chip Normal speed is 201.4, slightly increase there. Double boost 244.3. WCW 295.5. Let me try that again. 292, okay, just now was the ability. Eh? 292.5. 
CW 309.6 Wow Okay That's without ability 309.5 309.5 WCW 313.9 That's as strong as the usual class eh? Okay, with ability CW 312.6 The ability doesn't activate much eh? 316.9 With ability Okay, so plus 3 eh? Actually, it kind of makes sense It feels like Stargazer Because you got anything every second <laughs> And when the passive activates It increases only 3 km per hour But it's as powerful as the uh, tier 1 and tier 0 cars eh? The CW speed and everything else Wow, okay, this car is definitely buff Now I'm curious of the collection As Stormbreaker is Reno, right? Eh, no, no, As Stormbreaker is Alpha? Yeah, Alpha What's the test track? City 11, okay then I guess we'll test on City 11 then first what can I say? This car tier 4 increased to what? Tier 1? Tier 0? What do you think? I think it's what ranking 40 plus eh? If I'm not wrong. I think also very easy. Easy to collect and tank. Two zero four or five <laughs> two zero five. Okay, wow, not bad. After first try with the, with the sounds more, it feels like Stargazer but without the Stargazer ability, uh, Nitro ability. That, that's that's what it feels like to me. All right, as usual, eh? uh, it's not easy to find a rank game, so I'm just playing quick race for now. <laughs> Oh, it's a track challenge.
Wow, new record, isn't it? Wow, so good. All right, next game I'm playing North Sea. This week, uh, there's a there's another quest that you have to do, similar like last week, City Level, eh? to get Crystal Ball. I think if you play North Sea twenty times. So a lot of people are playing North Sea this week. Uh, long start this. Oh no, <laughs> my mistake. I'm not good at going at the right side still. then <laughs> wow i think that was about 201 and 200201 <laughs> i realized that the end tank is really strong as strong as crystal nova i think let me compare okay here crystal nova and tank is better but it feels uh collecting end tank uh, it feels as good as crystal nova and the speed and everything it feels like stargazer <laughs> That's my uh, opinion. Uh. Alright, one more test. Eh? It's more to end tank actually. Eh? Let's just try the airport map. What's the name now? Windy Airport. Okay, that's the English name now. Windy Airport. Another unreleased map. Eh? Alright, 136. That's, that's actually quite good. 
Okay guys, so I think that's it for this uh, S Dawnbreaker review with Infinity Chip plus Enlightenment skin. Eh? My uh, opinion is this car feels similar like Stargazer except no Nitro uh, delay. That's how strong it feels like. So if I compare with Stargazer right now, all of them are about the same. Except, yeah, the drift is just slightly smaller. That's it, I think. But the end tank is actually stronger than Stargazer. That's why the end tank collection feels way, way more powerful. The end tank, eh? end tank is much more powerful than Stargazer even. <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's a speed and end tank kind of car, as you can see here. So, <laughs> all right. So yeah, I think that's it for this S Breaker Plus Infinity Chip review. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.